Today I got back my Dark Magician from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a five card PSA return, including that Dark Magician from Battles of Chaos that I pulled very recently. It was actually pretty centered. It didn't have damage on it, so I think we have a chance at a PSA 10. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from the turn or a card that I've pulled that you want to see graded. Now let's hop over to the pre-grade and see if I guessed them correctly. All right, guys, let's get into checking out these PSA graded cards. First, we have a Celestia Light Sworn Angel Ultimate Rare that we pulled out of our Light of Destruction booster box opening. Go check that video out if you didn't see it. Okay, this guy was in pretty good, all right, girl, I should say, is in pretty good condition. Very nice on the front, just super pretty on the surface. Centering is pretty nice on this card. It's looking like we have a good chance off the front. Back does have that uh, ultimate rare indent a little bit, but it's really not too bad. I don't see a lot wrong with this card, to be honest. This card looks really nice. Corners appear to be pretty good from the front and the back. From what I can tell, this looks like maybe it could get the PSA 10. I have a good feeling about it. I think if I'm going to go with a prediction, I'm going to say that this card is a strong 10 candidate. So PSA 10 is my guess. I think it could get a 9. You never know with PSA. Sometimes they'll dock it for a 9 for ultimate stamp. But I think that this is PSA 10 caliber. Next card, we have a Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode Ghost Rare. This is unlimited, so it is not like the best, you know, first edition, whatever. But this card was in really nice shape, so I figured let's try and grade this thing. Centering is not perfect from the top to the bottom. It's a little bit off. Side to side looks pretty awesome. Surface looks absolutely amazing on this Ghost Rare. I mean, there's slight little scratches. I mean, that's just pretty normal for Ghost Rares. It's very hard to avoid that with a Ghost Rare card, but overall pretty clean. Back surface looks absolutely amazing. Nice corners like that. Very good. So for me, this is like mint condition plus, like it could potentially get the 10, but I think because there are, it is a ghost rare. It has some slight scratches. It is slightly off centered. I'm going to guess that they're going to give it a nine, but I do think that it has a 10 potential, which is why we're sending it in. Next, we have a Pharaoh Servant first edition Genzo. We have graded a few of these in our day. One has gotten a PS, no, two have gotten a PSA 10 actually. So we have a slight little mark up there. What is that? I think it's nothing. Okay, it came off. So corner looks pretty good there. Corners look pretty nice. It's slightly faded, which is really cool. Centering on it is slightly off. It's definitely not centered for the most part. Secret Rare looks super nice. Surface on it looks really good. Back of the card also looks really nice. So for the most part, I think there was some slight, like many, many slight corner issues, like very, very tiny. If you look super close, they have a minor corner issue, but I would say overall, oh, what is that? You guys see that? That looks like it might be a little messed up there. Let's see. Okay, nothing showing on the front. Let's see right there. Maybe not. Maybe that's just where I was holding the card. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so overall, I think it's a really nice condition card. Off-centered. So I would say it's probably in the 9 area, but you never know if those corners, which I could, I can't even really see, could potentially knock it down to an 8. But I'm going to guess 9 on this one be a little optimistic. Next, we have a Battles of Chaos Starlight Rare. Yes, we did pull the Illusion of Chaos. And the centering was the best of the Starlights that I got. It's still not completely perfect. Maybe a little bit wider on the right side, but still pretty good condition overall. The surface looks really nice on this one. Occasionally you will have corner issues on starlights. This one did not seem to really have those. It seems like it's in pretty good condition. So overall, I'm going to say like this card looks really nice. If this one doesn't get a 10, I will be surprised. I think it would have to be like a centering issue, but honestly, the centering is pretty good. I'm going to guess PSA gem mint 10 on this illusion of chaos. That would be a really cool one to add to the collection. And the final card, speaking of battles of chaos, we did pull a centered dark magician that does not have corner issues from what I could tell. So check that out. The surface this looks really good. Centering, very good. Corners appear not to be dinged on this one. We pulled this one on a random live stream on a Saturday where I had an emergency live stream. We ended up pulling really, really well. The surface looks really nice on the card. The centering, the corner. Okay, the back centering is actually pretty bad now that you look at it. But it is back centering, and we know it's usually not that important to the card in terms of the PSA grade. So overall, this is a really nice looking card. I'm going to go with Jim Mint 10. I'm being optimistic. So we've guessed, what, three Jim Mint 10s and two nines. So if that comes true, this is going to be an awesome return. Let's get back to the present and see what they got.
Okay, now that we're back from the pre-grade, let's see if we predicted the grades correctly. I don't remember what I predicted at this point. It was a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. I actually did this regular submission style, which was, you know, the $100 rate, and it actually came back in like two weeks. It was super fast. So I recommend using that one over Express if you have a card that's under the, you know, the limit or whatever. Okay, so I don't know what order these go in. Let's just check it out. So we have, okay, this is the right order. We have Celestia, Light Sworn Angel. We pulled this from our LODT first edition box, which was a really weird box. If you guys remember that opening, go check it out if you haven't seen it. It was super fun to open that up because it's such a rare box. And this is what we got is an ultimate rare. So let's see. I don't know. Let's pull it out of this sleeve because these are a little bit cheap and kind of hard to see through. Okay, let's check out the corners. We have a top left corner that looks not perfect. Maybe a slight. No, I think it's actually pretty good. That might just be in the case. Okay. Other corner looks pretty good. That corner looks pretty nice. I mean, they do have, like, they're a little bit whiter, but it's not really whitening. It's just kind of normal for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, that seems pretty decent. The back looks, okay, we didn't get anything in the case, which is nice. That case looks to be scratched a little bit, but overall, they kept the case in pretty nice shape. Then we have the front, which has very nice corner there, nice corner there, very nice corner there and there. So that looks pretty good. How's the centering on this card? This card appears to be fairly centered. I think there was some ulti imprint on the back. I don't remember exactly. You guys will have seen the pre-grade, so you'll know. Let me know in the comments what you think it's going to get, you know, beforehand, if you guys want to do a little bit of a fun game there. Celestial Lights were an angel. I think I predicted nine, possibly 10, and I think it's probably going to be a nine. Oh, and it got a 10. That's awesome. A Gem Mint 10 Ultimate Rare Celestia Light Sworn Angel from our Legacy, not Legacy, Light of Destruction Box First Edition. Okay, we got some of our money back. It wasn't much, but we got some of it. That's pretty cool. Celestia Light Sworn Angel Ultimate Rare. Okay, that's a great start. All right, I went ahead and pulled them all out of the sleeves just so we can uh, skip that process. So here we go. I don't know what this next card is. We have back corners look pretty good for whatever it is. I don't remember what I submitted besides the Illusion of Chaos and the Dark Magician. Okay, did I submit anything older? I think I submitted a Genzo or something, didn't I? Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Mode, or Ghost Mode? <laughs> Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, it is Ghost Mode, but wow, look how that shines. This would be such a cool PSA 10. Okay, the top corner looks good. Top corner looks good. Okay, we're looking pretty nice on these corners. That surface looks pretty nice. I don't remember exactly. I don't, I'm guessing it wasn't perfect. I probably guessed a nine because ghosts are pretty tough. I don't really remember though because it's been a couple weeks. Wow, this is a beautiful card. I can't stop looking at it. What do you guys think we got? Let me know in the comments. Let's see. A mint nine. Okay, I bet I guessed a mint nine. So that probably makes sense. Mint nine, ghost rare, red dragon, arch Venus assault mode. I'll take that. That's a pretty nice ghost rare. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, still a pretty good return so far. Third card of our five card return. Top corner looks, it looks okay. It has like maybe a little bit of a slight edging right there. Top right corner, it's very similar. This looks like a newer card. So I bet this is the dark magician or the illusion. That has a little bit of whitening there. I mean, nothing major so far that would take us out of a 10, but definitely not perfect card definitely looks like a newer card to me i don't know if that's right or not and it is it's an illusion of chaos so we have a nice corner there nice corner there okay corner looks i think the corners are actually really good on this because sometimes starlights do have like slightly like not bent but they're like slightly curved i don't even know but this one didn't i don't think so the centering is actually pretty nice on this card this card looks amazing it's a very cool card for dark magicians which you gotta love so uh what do you guys think it got you guys think we got the 10 i think i guessed 10 on this one and it got the Gem Mint 10, Illusion of Chaos. This is a beautiful card. I'm very happy about this one. Okay, Illusion of Chaos. So far, two out of three tens. I cannot complain. Here we go. I don't think this is the Dark Magician. I think this one's the Dark Magician based on the back. It looks a little bit older. I think I had another Ghost Rare in here now that I think about it. That right corner looks pretty nice. What was this one? That one looks good as well. That one looks good. It's sometimes hard to see in the reflection. It looks like there's something, but yeah. That one looks good. Back looks pretty nice. Wow, surface looks pretty clean on this card. Let's see. Cover it up. Oh, it's the Jinzo. Yeah, I already said this earlier and I forgot. Okay, so I think the main issue was like maybe a corner was like not completely perfect. And then of course the centering. So we were hoping for a nine. I think I might've guessed an eight just to be a little bit pessimistic, but I think this thing does have a chance at a nine. If it gets a nine, I'm gonna be super happy with this first edition Jinzo. We've rated several of these at this point. I think I graded two tens, like two nines or something like that. So I would love to add a nine to the collection. This would be cool. Well, it'll probably be for sale. Not to add actually to the collection, but still very cool. Let's see what we got.
A mint nine. Okay, that's awesome. I thought that would be a fair grade for it, but I was a little worried about what they would do because it's already off center. It's like an auto nine, so it's like anything kind of knocks it down. That's a beautiful card. PSA nine first edition Genzo. Such an awesome card. Wow, you love to see that. This has been an awesome return so far. So far, I don't know if I'm four for four on guesses just based off my memory. I think that I might be four for four right now. What was the first one that we got a 10 on? Oh, no, Celeste. Yeah, I probably guessed nine. Yeah, so I might be three out of four. Let's see what the Dark Magician got. We got a top left, top right, both pretty nice. This was a very nice one. Okay, what's going on with that? I think it's just how it looks. It looks kind of weird for some reason. Okay, uh, there's that. So there is a little bit of stuff on the back, but as long as it's not in the case, we're good to go. Uh, okay, this back looks pretty nice. So we have the Dark Magician. Let's cover it up. The alternate art from Battles of Chaos. So the centering on this guy is pretty good compared to a lot of the ones I got. It's not completely perfect. Top corner looks pretty... Yeah, so it is a little bit thicker on the left side, I would say. Uh, right side looks pretty good. Bottom right looks good. Bottom left looks good. So overall, wait, what is that? Okay, yeah, nothing. Okay, that was just part of the case. There's these little dots in the back that kind of look like they're like on the card. It's whitening or something, but it's not. Dark Magician from Battles of Chaos, guys. Do you think we got the gym mint 10? I was hoping for the 10. I don't remember if I guessed 9 or 10. Let me know in the comments. Here we go. Gym mint 10, Dark Magician. We have officially done it. That's insane. What an awesome, awesome grade. Three out of five tens. The other two were nines. This is pretty amazing. I mean, this is one of the best submissions we've had in quite a while. So we opened a lot of Battles of Chaos. We got some damaged Dark Magicians, but it did pay off with the Illusion of Chaos and the Dark Magician, it seems. So at least we did get a couple of those awesome cards out of there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more PSA returns and opening videos. Shoutouts to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Ananatai Show, JT Cho, and Anima the Hallow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.